you're leaving your home. One suitcase each is all you can allow to take. I had, we were poor, and I had a um, doll that I uh, cherished very much. It's the only doll I have ever had in my life, in my childhood. I wanted to take that, but mom said, put it, put it away somewhere. We'll come back and someday we'll get it. So you can't take it because pots and pans are more important. On December 7th, it was a Sunday, um, my mother and father was worried about something, talking at the breakfast table. And as I listened, they said, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor. What's going to happen to us? And um, I listened to that and I thought, well, that doesn't concern me, I'm Canadian. Monday, when I went to school, uh, most of the kids wouldn't talk to me because their parents had told them not to associate with the Japanese kids. Then we got on the steamship and headed towards um, Vancouver. And then when we landed, in, when I saw the um, Lionsgate Bridge, I was really, really fascinated because I've never been to Vancouver before. And we headed towards, uh, we la uh, got to Hastings Park. They used to call Hastings Park, not p &E in those days. My father was taken off uh, at the Agrodome and we were taken to um, a barnyard. And uh, they said, get off and get up, get in there. Place just stunk. It's really, really bad. And um, uh, we were given e a stall. Each family got a stall, the kids. Got to Slocan, and then from there we got on a bus and went to Lemon Creek and the houses were barely being built. But we got one of the built homes on Gilead Street, they call, and um, because father was sick. And we were free as long as we can roam around and uh, get out and play. There was no school at first, but the parents all, you know, got together and said, let's ask for school. And the government says, okay, here's a board and make it. And eventually school was built, but not enough teachers because all the boys were taken away and the girls weren't educated in those days. School days were nice. And the teachers, although they were, some of them, 16, 17 year old, I, I find that I, I had a very good education with them. My father's funeral was the worst memory of, of my life ever. I could never forget that. And we asked the government to please um, cremate him so we can keep the remains and take it with us. Um, but the government said, no, we can't do it. We have no facility, we have no thing. You do it yourself. So older men and young boys, four, 15 year olds, went up to the hill and they cut down some trees. And uh, they lay it down this way and put my dad's coffin on top and, and then pour gasoline all around it. And I saw my father go up in flame. And to this day, whenever I get depressed, I could see that flame going up. It never leaves me.